Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. So if you're new to my channel then welcome. If you aren't new then absolutely welcome back. Everyone is always welcome. One thing I've realized that I don't really say my name much in my videos. So for both my current subscribers and hopefully my new subscribers, my name is Naka. Naka Friedel, Naka F, whatever you want to call me. Um, welcome to my channel. So, um, as you can probably tell from the title of this video, I'm going to be reviewing the new Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. Um, I don't know, I've always wanted a Tatcha product. Tatcha products are pretty expensive. So I've never actually, you know, purchased one because I was just like, damn, like I've always wanted to try like the water cream, see if it was really good for skincare, etc. But them things are expensive because it was a primer, um, something that I would use under makeup and I wear makeup more often, um, more often now than I have been doing. Um, I just thought this is something that I can actually use skincare. I've really kind of just been committing to using the products that I already have so that I can actually finish them. This is what the primer comes in. This was inside the box. Pretty fancy. I mean, to be honest, it should be fancy for this price. I believe it was like $52. Yeah. That's a lot for a primer. So you can see why I haven't invested in Tatcha skincare. I'm sure it will literally clear up your sins or whatever. But it's just it's just a lot of money. There's this like metal token, something that comes with it that comes in the box. Alright, so before I really get into the product, I'm actually just going to um, read a little bit about the product on Sephora.com. The primer is actually out of stock. I had no idea. Okay, so people are buying it. It must be good. Um, again, this primer is $52. And just to read up a little bit about it, it is good for all skin types. It's a velvety priming balm of pressed silk that smooths and makes makeup last longer while keeping it out of the skin, helping to prevent clogged pores and breakouts. Um, it, it is a solution for pores, oiliness, dullness, and uneven texture. It's formulated without parabens, sulfates, phthalates, you know, all the stuff that we de definitely don't want on our skin. Because of the fact that it's made with silk powder, it helps to have the makeup or your foundation glide on um, more evenly and last longer. It's supposed to be non-irritating, non-sensitizing, and it's cruelty-free. So it's always good. So you're supposed to press a thin layer into your skin and it creates a smooth poreless canvas. Okay. Oh, so the best part of this is it says that your purchase of a full-size Tatcha skincare item will fund a day of school for incredible girls through Tatcha's Beautiful Faces, Beautiful Futures partnership with Room to Read. So, I mean, even if you know, you aren't the biggest fan of Tatcha because you feel like they're too expensive. I mean, know that your money is definitely going to a good place. So that's always really nice to know. This is the product. This is what it looks like. And of course, I mean, for the money, it better be in like nice packaging. So it says on the back, can't really see that. It says on the back, filter finish protective primer and let's open it and it's a solid so let's touch it oh okay so yeah it's like it's almost like i want to even say you can look at it as like more like a soap how like you put your finger into the soap and you rub it and then you're able to put it on your face and we're just gonna rub our fingers into the solid I mean, I guess I should rub a couple of fingers because I actually have to put it on my face. And, and then it being a solid as well, like lets you know that it's gonna last pretty long because the fact that you can just kind of like tap into it 
it's really gonna last you a long time. I'm trying to not put too much on because I don't know how it's going to react with my foundation, so. All right. Okay, so I'm trying to see if there's like a difference in my skin. It definitely feels really soft. That's one thing, you know, I guess that's where the, the silk comes in. It feels really soft on my skin, super duper smooth. Okay, so that is a plus. And there's a little bit, again, a little bit of tackiness is what you would normally expect in a primer so that the foundation um, can stick. And yet your skin is like baby butt smooth. So, okay. So I, I'm definitely feeling it so far. Can't say that you can really see a difference in my skin on camera. Um, and I can't say I really see much of a difference in my mirror. But anyways, let's continue with the other side of my face and then we'll move on to, um, you know, the foundation application. What I'm gonna do is use my Fenty Beauty foundation. I would probably put on Huda Beauty, but because I feel like Huda Beauty is so full coverage and the Fenty Beauty is more of a natural look, I feel like it just would be better to really test. Personally for me, I have more of a dry combination skin, um, so that's why I definitely need more of a moisturizing primer if I'm gonna be wearing Fenty Beauty foundation. I'm just, in my head, I'm just like, I mean, as you can, as you probably heard from the description of the Tatcha primer, it didn't say that it was really going to be like working miracles, but it definitely did say, you know, it would, it's supposed to be a filter finish. I mean, just one thing that I can definitely say about it, my pores are definitely screaming hello. Like I can see my pores a lot. And I don't have too many imperfections um, in my skin, so I'm a little bit, hmm. But so far, I'm not like 100% happy with the effects. Um, I don't know what it looks like on camera, but I'm looking, hey, I'm looking for far enough away and I can still see the pores on my cheeks. And on my nose. So for concealer, I'm going to be using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Dark 3 or Mond. Oh no, I, I don't love it. Mm. So I'm like looking at my pores, OD. Okay, all right. So I'm gonna go in with my Patrick's powder to set my concealer. Now that my concealer is set, um, I'm still not necessarily happy with what I'm seeing. I don't know, I just, feel like I see my imperfections way more than I normally would, but I'm still gonna give it some, some time. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to go ahead and do my eyeshadow and my eyebrows, you know, do everything else off camera. Um, I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty Desert Dust Palette. I feel like I look lopsided. Like Maybe it's just my face. All right, my eyelashes and my eyeshadows done, done off camera. Um, I'm just going to, I also did my contour as well off camera. I'm just gonna go ahead and dip into NARS Seduction and just add a little bit of blush. I still feel like there are a lot more of my imperfections coming out. I mean, it still in a way looks smooth. It doesn't look like filter-y. 
and that's kind of what they are advertising it as that it's a filter finish um, what I'm going to do though is I'm going to set my whole face it's not something I normally do but I feel like in this case I might need to set my whole face so I'm gonna go in with the NARS soft velvet loose powder in the color heat yeah that's much better okay so I definitely did just set my face um, with powder and now my face is starting to look like what I'm normally used to seeing um, so it looks a little bit more smooth it does look more smooth and just more put together and that's what I was expecting from just using the Tatcha silk primer I'm just gonna add some highlighter and um, some gloss and we're done with this look so for highlighter I'm gonna go in with uh, artist couture X Jackie Ina La peach so for gloss I'm gonna go ahead and use my Mac dazzle glass in fun tabulous and that's just gonna finish off this look I'm just going to go in with the Urban Decay Makeup All Nighter Setting Spray. And we're just going to set. This is my final look using the Tatcha, the Silk Canvas um, Primer. So overall, I really do like the concept of the primer. I like that. Um, I actually didn't tell you. It's 20 grams. It's 20 grams, 0.7 ounces. The only thing is I felt like if it's advertising that it uh, allows your skin to have more of a silk-like canvas that uh, diminishes pores and allows you to have more of a filter finish um, that's not what I actually saw here I'm gonna say for now that for $52 I wouldn't waste my money on this not saying that Tatcha products aren't great I've seen a lot of good things about the rest of their skincare line if you have a primer that works for you then absolutely use that I will keep experimenting with it and um, checking with my other foundations to see if they work better than um, with the Fenty foundation um, I didn't want to use the Huda Beauty foundation because it is full coverage and I feel I felt like if I used it it would pretty much do the job of making the whole filter finish um, so I wanted to use a foundation that's more of a natural look so with the Fenty foundation this didn't necessarily work I will try I only, I only have like three foundations um, but I will try it with my NARS I keep switching hands I don't know it's it's kind of fun um, but I will try it with my NARS sheer glow foundation and my NARS luminous weightless foundation and see if it works if you want to see a video on that then absolutely let me know so that's really about it again my name is Naka Naka F Naka Friedel and this is the end of my video don't forget to thumbs this video up and to subscribe to my channel because I will be coming with more soon um, and in terms of when I post my videos I've decided that I'll be posting my videos once a week for right now once a week every Thursday at so absolutely keep a lookout for my videos and I will be coming with the next one very soon don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one bye guys